आर यू टायर्ड ऑफ स्पेंडिंग काउंटलेस आवर्स रिसाइजिंग एंड क्रिएटिंग आर्ट वर्क टू फिट डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट रेशियोज जस्ट टू सेल दम ऑन एट सी वेल गेट रेडी टू से गुड बाई टू दैट टी डी एस टास्क बिकॉज आई हैव बिल्ट अ वर्क फ्लो विथ कस्टम टेम्पलेट दैट हेल्प्स मी एंड माई कस्टमर्स क्रिएट फाइव डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट रेशियो फाइल्स विथ जस्ट वन क्लिक इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल आई वॉक यू थ्री द एग्जैक्ट स्टेप्स एंड डेमोन्स्ट्रेट how to implement this workflow for your printable art business for those of you that stick around until the end i'll give away the 10 custom templates that i built for this workflow for absolutely free so if you have already put up your etsy store you must be aware that these are five standard aspect ratio sizes that your artful file must be available in underneath each aspect ratio is the listed size that those artwork files can be printed in So, for example, your artwork is in two to three ratio. A two to three ratio files can be printed in four into six inches, six into nine inches, eight into twelve inches, ten into fifteen inches, and so on. Resizing your artwork files into five aspect ratio sizes can be a daunting task. So, for all the listed aspect ratio sizes, I have created this five custom Photoshop template. Let me open and show in Photoshop. So this is the structure of this template. So we have solid underneath layer, and on the top of that we have a smart object layer, which completely cover up the canvas. And if you check, the size is 24 inches into 36 inches. So I created a similar template for all the aspect ratio. Depending upon the artwork type you have, you can change the aspect ratio of your file with different operations. Let me show you the different operations. that can be used to change the aspect ratio all the four artwork file that you see on the screen are of the aspect ratio 2 is to 3 let us change their aspect ratio to 3 is to 4 so i'll go into photoshop i'll create a new document with the width 18 inches height 24 inches so it's 3 is to 4 resolution 300 and click on create so i'll grab one of the artwork and place it onto this photoshop file so using the anchor points we'll enlarge this Uh, once you are done enlarging, so your two empty spaces on the right and left. So in this artwork, there is a lot of negative spaces, and we can create a background layer which matches the color of this artwork. Pull this solid fill color underneath the artwork, and then double click and select the background color. Now this artwork has been converted into the aspect ratio three to four. Taking another example, let me grab this forest uh, artwork and place it onto this PST file. So we see two empty spaces on the left and the right. To change this aspect ratio, there are two ways. Our method word expand this. Our uh, doing this, we can see that uh, this region has been omitted or clipped out. Other way, uh, we can stretch this artwork to the left and right to fit the exact frame. And now we have converted this into three to four. Now keeping these three methods in your mind, uh, let us see how we can automate this. Uh, to automate this process, we'll organize our files into three folders. Uh, first is portrait template. These are the five templates of the different aspect ratio size that I've created. Uh, then on the artwork folder, we have one design that we want to change the aspect ratio into. The aspect ratio for this file is two is to three. And then we have an export folder, which is empty, and all the different aspect ratio files will be saved over here. So we'll jump to Photoshop. Then we'll go to plugins, bulk mockup, and start bulk mockup. So the plugin is very simple to use. So we have three fields here. Our first is PST template folder. We'll hit browse and select the portrait template. And next we have design file folder. So we'll hit browse and select our artwork folder. Uh, then we have export folder. So we'll hit browse and select our export folder. Now comes the important part, uh, which is resize method. So moments ago we saw three different processes to change the aspect ratio. So depending upon the artwork that you have, you can select this drop down and select a fill canvas stretch. So this will stretch the artwork to fill the canvas. Another option is fit to canvas cropping the extra. So again it will fit the canvas and crop out the extra as you can see in this two illustrations. And the other method is fit to canvas without cropping the extra. So in this method, we are supposed to use the negative space uh, to our advantage and create a background layer uh, that will fill in the empty spaces. So for this artwork, I think we should stick to this 
uh, canvas cropping the extra. Now the setup is done. So I'll hit on start generating and the magic will start. So within 20 seconds, we have the artwork files resize into 5 aspect ratio. Uh, look at the names. So we have the artwork name leaves and to that we have the dimension appended 11 into 14. Then leaf 18 into 24. And the best part is in this artwork, we kept only one file. If you keep all your artworks, maybe 5, 10, 100, 1000, a bulk mockup will resize all of them into 5 different aspect ratio sizes. Isn't this incredible? To learn more, visit bulkmockup.com.